Increment the greetings. I just seen my collection from the latest backup, which is something I ha haven't done for a long while. And that's because I wanted to share my changes. After, I don't know, two years, I lost track of time. Um, I, I made changes on the styling, the templates, the layout, and so on, that has been stable. You may have seen that most of my YouTube videos here has been congruent with the styling and so on. Well, not anymore. Now, what you are seeing actually is not my default template. So what you see now is not my default layout. It's my contents layout, which is temporary. My default, it's this one. You may think, oh, what the F? It's not full screen. Yes, that is on purpose because now I want Chrome on the side. So what will be the knowledge tree now is Chrome with ChatGPT, GPT-4, uh, and other LLMs, and so on, to generate images, and all of this. So those changes are because I actually changed my workflow as a user with SuperMemo. So therefore, I adapted the layout and so on to fit my new workflow, and I did a major simplification, major simplification. That's why I could reduce and simplify uh, the stuff in Super Memo as well. So let's go. I will go by chapters as well. So first the layouts, why, the templates, concepts, and all uh, whatever I have simplified. As you can see now by default, I'm not using the knowledge tree. I don't need it at all times now. I really don't. And it's been a while, especially when using the laptop that the screen is smaller. Uh, Contents window, gone. And I, I will only be using it when I need to do something, pam, 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 and so on, and move on. But during the regular usage of Super Memo, I don't need it. I rely on the ancestors for context. And the other detail is that the stats window and the element data are overlapping, just to save space. And I could even do this, because I already know whatever it's this one. So I'm, I'm maximizing the width of ancestors. And same for the browser. So that's the element, I, that's the contents layout, and that's the browser layout. So it st stays the same width. So what I'm doing at the end of the day is just changing this window. It is a browser, or it is the contents, or it's actually Chrome. As simple as that. Next is the templates. So here's one example of my item template. It just bigger images at the top, question and answer. That's the front or the question time and the back. Now in the back or answer time, I only have the text is the answer. I no longer have images that display only in answer time and so on because I use incremental reading only. I don't have Hey, what's this in the image? Or who, what person is in the image? Uh, this kind of question. Therefore, a lot simpler. Plain text, plain text, image, image. No sound, nothing else. That means that look at the registries. Font, none. Because now I only use one single template for items. One single template for articles. And that's it. I have some other art. I have some other um, templates because of the flags to kill the image in bulk or to set everything empty. For instance, I use this one empty to apply the back black background in everything that has been done or dismissed. That it was white back in the day. It was white, and I wanted to overwrite this so I don't have the flash when I click on the knowledge tree. Stuff like this. The YouTube, which isn't used. So at the end of the day, I have the um, bare minimums. And you can see the article. It's actually unused. So I only use one for items, one for articles, topics. You cannot get simpler than that. And I even simplified more. I don't use fonts. I don't use comments, binary, styling, script, or only. But no styling. 
The only styling I use for articles, this comes from Super Memo. I just edited the default file, which is the supermemo.css. All my elements that has HTML will use this. Everything. You cannot get simpler than that. So related to the video I did a while ago, a short while ago, that the more I use Supermemo, the less feature I use. Here you go. Other registries, nothing. I don't use any of those. I don't use tasks anymore. You cannot delete the master task list. I don't use sound or lexicon and so on. And next chapter is the concepts. Look at this simplification. I will have a standalone video about this. That now I follow the minimum concept principle. So I follow minimum information principle for knowledge formulation, yeah. The minimum template principle that now I reduce it to the maximum. One for topics, one for items, and that's it. And now the minimum concept principle. That's all. At one point, I had 200 something members. Now I only have 34. Uh, yeah. Even though I always have to apply the templates, even though it's always the same case, item and article picture are my default. So I don't have the no template and so on, but it's I think the same. And a big change. It has been on the screen since the start of the video. I don't know if you ca catched this detail, but look, now it's been some weeks, not even two weeks, that I'm using Super Memo 19. Finally, finally, even though it's a super small upgrade, it's because now I don't have any, anything that was preventing me to update, which was SMA, more specifically the add-on for PDF. I needed this, the PDF thing, for a while, but not anymore. I don't have PDFs to read, so I just upgraded. And then I did some small, some small, ah, here you go. I did some small changes. Now my extract color is this bluish and the font becomes black instead of white. That I have been using brown for uh, quite a long time. But it w was not always brown. So now I prefer this. Even if it looks weird when I have the link in blue, I uh, in yellow, usually I won't really read this, so it's not a big deal. So now I'm used to this color. Those colors haven't changed at all. Only this, the only change. So, the point of this video is not that, hey, copy my styling, that's the best. No, because that depends on your taste, your preference, your workflow. And that's the golden nugget. You sh should adjust the layout and all of the settings that can be customized according to your flow. So if your flow changes, you should also change to adapt in case it's required to get the maximum out of that workflow. In my case, since I have simplified, I have taken down use cases that I no longer do this, I no longer do that. It's A, hey, not that I think of. Uh, now that I have less requirements, I can really simplify my approach. Now I don't ever change templates. If it's an item, it will be the, the item uh, template. So as long as I use hooks, I never use, have to press control shift M. So I think I covered everything from the last two years. Everything that has changed. So let me know your opinion, your thoughts, what you have changed as well. Drop a comment if you want to share your mind and see you incrementally.